Good evening, boys and girls. This week, you are going to be making a family portrait. That just means a picture of your family. You are going to be using perspective and simple shapes to create your family portrait. So I am going to demonstrate how to do that by drawing with you. So what you want to start with is you're going to be using a paper, but I'm using the dry erase board. That way you can easily see it. So first you've got to think how many people are in your family. For me, we have three. So it's my husband, me, and my son. So you want to start with the tallest person in your family. And you're going to do this by drawing a oval for the head. And then you're going to make two little lines for your neck. And then you're going to make a rectangle for the body. Long ovals for your arms. You can make a little rectangle. That's for the lower part of your body. And then you're going to make two long oval, well, ovals for your legs. That's going to what you're going to do for simple shapes to make a person. Or if that's too complicated, you can make a stick person to start with. So this one's going to be me. That's going to be my husband because he's taller than me. I'm going to start with the oval. But then for this one, I'm going to make a line down my two legs and two arms. Now that doesn't really look as detailed as this one. So what you can do is you can just trace around it. And then erase the line on the inside. You can pick whichever option is easier for you. You can see the one with the simple shapes, however, looks a lot more like a person than this one. Then I also need my son. So I'm gonna draw a little oval because he's only one, so he's gonna be really small. And I'm gonna do the simple shapes again. So again, to do it this way, I'm going to show you on the big person that way you can see. You start with an oval for the head, two lines for the neck. You're going to draw a long rectangle for your upper body, two long ovals for your arms, little rectangle for your lower body, and then two long ovals for your legs. Now, that's how I did for the simple shapes to make a person. Now you're going to work on perspective, which perspective means your point of view. So that means you make sure when you look at it, they're not all the same height because I'm sure not everybody in your family is the same height and that it looks like your family does. So that means who's ever tallest and then you draw like it wouldn't make sense for my son to have a big head like this and then a little body like this. That's not the right perspective, which means the point of view, because he would not have that big of a head and that small body. Maybe if he was a cartoon character. So then after you get done this, you're going to go back and you're going to add the eyes and your nose and your mouth. I'm going to add some eyelashes too. And don't forget hair. There's that one. And 
You can see ears too. Okay. Now since I did that, now I can go back and make it look like shirts. So for the rectangle, all you have to do is add lines for where the shirt is. You can erase those two little lines there. There's a shirt. Then erase this. And then you got pants. Okay. To make shoes, you can just draw little ovals at the bottom. And then our hands don't look like that. So then you're going to go back and you're going to add your fingers. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you can erase that. So then you see it looks more like an actual hand. And we're just going to be holding hands. So you're going to see my other, my other hand. Make sure you draw five fingers on each one. And then some shoes. You can draw a detailed shoe if you want to. So maybe like a tennis shoe or something. So then you're going to think, what does your family like to do? Is there something you did really fun over the summer? Maybe you guys like to be outside. Maybe there's an activity that you guys like to do. Like maybe you have a game night or something like that. So you don't have to draw you guys standing. You can have you doing maybe sitting at a table, playing a game or whatever you like to do. So we like to go outside on a walk. So I'm going to draw grass. And then maybe the sun would be up here on the corner. And then maybe we just came from the playground because my son likes to swing. So I'm going to draw a nice big playground over here. And then here was a little baby swing over here. That's where we came from. He likes to swing. So we take him to go swing. And then what I would do is color. So as you can see, I used simple shapes to create my family while using perspectives. So that way it looks like not like a giant member of the family and then some little small people, okay? And then you're going to draw your, your family doing something that you like. So we like to go to the park. And then you are going to color it. Once you're done... You just have to take a picture and send it to me. All right, guys. Can't wait to see your beautiful artwork.